What is going on everybody, my name is Robert Watkin and welcome back to another Vegas Pro 16 tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do the whip pan transition. So this is another transition tutorial, it can spice up your videos, make them look pretty cool. And as always we're going to start by importing our media. Right, so I've got two clips here, I'm going to click open on these, got them in. Um, so once again, some more clips from when I went on my Keswick trip with my friends. And we have this one clip, I'll just show you here. Come on, go on the way. So there's that one clip kind of zooming out from the log looking over this lake and then another clip of the lake uh, but just at a different sort of angle, different sort of effect. I'm going to actually switch these clips around. I'm going to want this first clip to do the whip pan transition into this clip where the logs kind of being panned across so about there so it's coming out and it kind of continues the motion into it now the first thing I'm gonna to want to do is crop the clips to where I want them I'm gonna start with this first clip I'll have a quick watch to find out where I want it cropped to or cut to should I say so I think I'm gonna go with here yeah, delete this beginning bit and go to I'll just go to, let's see here for now. So I've got this little clip of this boat in the distance going across. It's just raining. Not the most exciting clip, but it'll do. And then on the second clip, I'm going to cut it right about here, just to where I start kind of panning the camera across. Right, so getting these clips right next to each other, to start our actual transition, the first thing you want to do is move the second clip on top of the first clip, so basically on a new video track. To do this, you're just going to right click, insert video track, and drag this one on top. Then overlap them a little bit. This little overlap here is basically going to be the duration of the transition. So this can always be adjusted to your liking and your preferences. So I'm just going to go for like here for now. So it's not a massive overlap or anything. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this bottom clip here by clicking on it and clicking S. Just where it aligns up with the top clip. And then I'm going to do the same on the top clip on this side. So split that there. So now we'll have these two little overlapping clips here. And this is where the effect is basically going to take place. Now just to make sure I can't see the top track and I can only see the bottom track. I'm going to click on the bottom track and click X. This is basically going to make the top track invisible and allow me to see what I'm doing on this track and edit that exclusively. So now on this bottom track I'm going to click the event pan and crop button. And you can see we've got the initial keyframe which is got the full view in we're going to move the cursor here to the very end of the track and we're going to create a keyframe by clicking here now this is where you're going to determine the direction of your pan so i'm going to want to be panning to the right and um, this is because as you can see on this clip which i'm just going to click x here so we can see this again it's moving to the right the camera's moving to the right so i want it to kind of match that effect so on this keyframe I'm going to click on this and you can see if I go to move it, it's actually moving freely, which is not what I want. So I'm going to click Ctrl Z there just to undo that. So to ensure that it only moves left and right, we're going to go to the side here where we can see move freely. And we're going to click on that until it's got this left and right arrow. If it has this up and down arrow, just click it a couple times until you get to the left and right. Now if we click and drag on here, you can see even if we move the mouse up and down, it's going to move left and right. And you want to make sure this second keyframe here just slightly overlaps with the original clip as you can see here so it's not completely off the screen it's just a little bit of an overlap there and then if we play this you can see it goes off screen like that so now clicking x on this track again we're also going to close down this little window we can click on the top track click the event pan and crop and we're basically going to do the same thing but the opposite way so let's first of all create that keyframe at the very end of the track now this time the end keyframe is going to be the full view and then the same thing for this we're going to make sure it just overlaps slightly at the very edge so once again we're moving left here as we will be coming in from the left side and just have a little bit of an overlap if we close this now and hit play you can see there is that whip effect and they overlap slightly which is good it's exactly what we're looking for now the last thing we're going to need to do to 
make this effect work properly is we're going to go and click on linear blur here under the video effects panel if you can't find it just search it by typing linear blur or i've just typed line here and it's came up we're then going to choose one of these horizontal blurs the reason we're going to choose a horizontal blur is it's going to kind of give that effect of horizontal movement and um, so it's like motion blur basically so we're going to click on the horizontal medium you could also choose the horizontal light it might not work as well i'd always recommend just go with the medium and then drag them on both clips here so i'll close that quickly and then put on the bottom one and then if we hit play now looking at this clip the only one thing I'm going to adjust with it is I feel the transition is a bit too long. So to adjust the transition itself simply drag the end of the bottom clip, drag the top of the top clip or the beginning of the top clip should I say and then just selecting the end clips by double pressing D on the keyboard dragging out and then sliding along you can just overlap them to where it was before now we can see i've uh, got the timing a bit off there so i'll just align it here and then i'll extend this a little bit well we'll have to quickly go into the keyframes click on the end keyframe here just move it in then move it out again and it'll readjust as you can see there close that down go into the first one click on the end keyframe move it in move it out it'll readjust as seen there and then if we hit play We've got a nice whip transition, you can see it's very snappy, it works quite well, and it's quite simple to do. So that's going to be it for this video guys, I hope it did help, remember if this video did help then leave a like, subscribe if you want more tutorials, and tell me down below if you want to see any tutorials and I'll make them for you. But that is it, so I'll see you in the next video of whatever I make guys, thanks, bye bye.